Hello there gang, DD Devere here and just playing a little bit of Barbarian. So I thought I'd put together a gameplay video, and why not? Let's have a quick glance at our settings. So not a great amount. But you do have rebindable keys, which you might want to make use of because they're on a bit of a funky set of binds to begin off with. And I'll show you what it is once we get in game. So that's fine. We'll apply that. And what we should do is we shall play. So you can have up to three profiles and two difficulty levels, normal and insane. So currently we're at the shop bit. We'll uh, ignore this for now and come back and have a look at it soon enough. I do have a couple of little upgrades I've already bought. So, uh, yeah. But only minor stuff. There's a sort of tower defence. Oh, nice pixel art. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get uh, we need to get some troops. So let's do that by right at the moment I've got my archer bound to Q, that E and that F. Because obviously we don't directly do any killing. We use our our axe. But it's in the, the guitar sense of the word axe to summon our minions and to inspire them in battle. Uh, get up here, let's get him. him. Now, I mean, up the top right here is our, our notes, which are what we use to power and call our troops. So I'm gonna press E and get myself an extra chappy on the field. Just gonna put out a quick stun spell because I need to buy a bit of breathing space at the moment. In fact, I'm gonna get my next troop out and here as well because they're getting a little bit close to our crystal in tower defense fashion that's what we're defending is that crystal there oops I took a hit there yes yeah, so they're not doing too bad we've got the we've got their number at the moment so that's what I mean about the uh, the key bindings when you first played on UI and O and all sorts of things although the game does suggest you play with a controller yeah I, I prefer mouse and keyboard there's only a, at the moment we can only have up to three team members on the field. But we have we have four spells. Our lightning bolt we see there, that's just as you as you get kills, that that charges up. And that's this quick stun solo. I keep calling them spells, but they're solos. And we want to be careful we don't lose it. So now we can stun them. And the fist is an attack solo, so now if I do that, that inspires them and it boosts up their attack power. Should I collect his, uh, I did. The second one, the second solo is just speed, so it allows you to speed around the battlefield a little bit quicker. And then your third one, as you can guess by the shield, is a defense, which boosts uh, the damage we can absorb from the oh, Oops, watch out, ignore him, there's some... Half this game is spent looking at that radar, I'll tell you. So the pixel art's very nice. The tune yeah, for, a song, for a game that's based around the idea of somebody soloing their way to victory. Could have done with a few more riffs in the grand scheme of things. It would also be nice if there'd been a... Ooh, one of my teammates there is in a very bad way. Let's give him a boost of... of uh, that, that was... Really shouldn't have got that close to them there. Oh, he dropped quite a few good things. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was kind of like an AOE effect around your team to let you know where the engagement ranges are. They seem a bit wacky. I'm not doing too bright here, as you can see from my damaged character and my health bar. That's another clue. <laughs> Things aren't going as rosy as they could be. Whoops. Not paying attention there. Another little small, small gripe is that you only have a limited time to pick up the things they drop. Uh, oh, I should have got my... Uh, let's get some speed up. Let's get the uh, spell and I should get out my... Uh, I should get out my uh, other unit. I didn't realise I'd lost him. So yeah, the top right... Uh, uh, oh, oh, Top right is 
what controls how many spells and such like we can engage with. And there's little blue blue notes. So right, it's okay, we've still got it in hand here, I think. Yeah. It would be nice if every time the crystal got attacked, I know you see that little indicator, but it would be nice if there was an actual sort of a warning sound. That would be quite quite nice if there was something along those lines. So this is a game in its in its in its essence. It's not your typical tower defence, it's it's more of those tactic style defence. But with it being sort of real time and not so much as some of them are turn based. So you need to be standing still to generate your musical notes. I don't know, who did I lose? I don't I thought. So it's certainly quite enjoyable. You definitely get a feeling this was from a mobile game because, of course, there's a bit of grinding. As you saw the little shop. But luckily, there's no there's no actual real world cash. I need to. Uh... There we go. There we go. All good. Oops. There's a boss. I'll take care of the mob first, though. We'll try and take care of the mob. Let's give them a bit of an attack boost. Oh, I lost another chappy there. Let's try. Who did we lose? Ara. No. Oh, it was Ara. Mage chappy again. So that's why uh, definitely rebinding your keys is a great thing. Well, that didn't go well because uh, <laughs> it's much easier to have all your attack spells and things on one, two, and three rather than try to learn them off a controller. Got to be a bit careful because that boss will also attack the crystal. Right, full volley, chaps. I'm getting a bit low on notes at the moment. Of course, each unit has their different type of attacks. Some are fast and low damage in tower defense style. Some are some are slow firing but heavy damage and not very accurate. So it doesn't really do anything too uh, outlandish. As you can see, the idea is that we grind up, we get this gold, and then we go to the shop. Oh, we unlocked a new unit. So we level up and apply our stats. I'm going to stun him. Let's give us an attack boost. And uh, hope for the best, because we're kind of out of everything now. <laughs> If you stand still, it will also it will also regenerate you know, your points. But standing still in these sort of games is not an overly clever idea. Oh, well, there we go. We've got some nice new riffing going on now. Ooh, we've got a very Megadeth vibe going on here. For those who like their Megadeth, understandable. A lot of people don't. Dave Mustaine is a very polarizing uh, personality and vocalist. I get that. <laughs> Should have really, shouldn't really have wasted that in an attack spell there. That was a stupid bit of strategy, really, wasn't it? Could have done with, could have done with more units. Still, we can still pull this back. No, we probably can't. And I like the early Megadeth myself, to be honest with you. It's just the uh, less said about Toot Le Mans, the better, eh? <laughs> Could really do it. Drop him some more notes. All right, can get my archer out. There's something. I mean, I could have three archers if I really wanted to. Uh, it doesn't, as far as it goes, and later on, as we'll see the upgrades very shortly. So yeah, it's a sort of tactics meets tower defence meets a uh, sort of rocky solo <laughs> soloing world. Oh, I was too slow, too slow. So that's the basics of the gameplay. So of course. And then the final part is the shop. Now, yeah, so there's no real world money. So you get the feeling this was obviously sort of aimed at the mobile phone markets or the tablets. In that you regrind levels, get your get your gold up, and then you probably recognise some of these units from other 
games a few memes going on here and you can also of course you can also increase your stats of your units as you see I'll give him a bit of an extra boost I'll give that I'm definitely going to take some on him and as you'd imagine the costs scale up with each with each upgrade then we have our direct hero upgrades so I do first thing I did obviously first thing you do is usually buy a bit of extra health so let's have that yeah that's better and then finally the town itself you can upgrade so increase the damage the crystal takes before it gets destroyed so yeah there's this no I'm mean, getting nothing groundbreaking here there's nothing that will shock you there's no real mad mechanics other than the using the guitar solos to to boost your troops in the right time as you see that I mean that was poor play by me there at the end there I should have rather than wasted it on attack spells I should have got some units on the field so there's levels of strategy it's not completely brain dead just sort of clicking it's got and it's not it's, it's not overly uh crazy challenging but yeah and the grind isn't 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 mad as I say with some of these mobile games that get ported to steam the developers forget there's no cash shop incentives anymore and leave the grind because obviously we know they they ramp up the grind to make to hopefully con players into giving money for shortcuts here it's it's quite balanced it's, it's very well balanced in the as a whole so if you're after a sort of kind of low gain sort of tower defense meets tactics this is definitely one of the the better ones it's a nice pixel art smooth controls once once you've rebinded the, the buttons and i say if you maybe want to play with a controller makes a fun little time killer so we'll conclude our dealings here gang this was barbarian so thanks very much for taking the time to watch the video hopefully you found it useful and entertaining in some way and as ever don't forget to like comment subscribe to let me know you're alive i shall see you all next time bye for now